Hey guys, so today I'm going to make creme brulee. I'm going to start off by making a silky creamy custard and then finish it off with a crust of caramelized sugar. So let's get started. Start off by boiling a kettle of water. This will be used later for the water bath. This recipe calls for 10 eggs. Separate the egg whites from the yolks. This might take some practice, but don't worry. If you break a couple of yolks, no one's going to get hurt. I'm going to measure three cups of heavy cream and then place it into a saucepan. Heavy cream is also known as whipping cream, which is 35%. So make sure you get your fat pants on because this is going to be a heavy dessert. Now I'm going to place one vanilla bean as well as one cinnamon stick into the mixture. Place the mixture onto the stove and then stir. Stir until the mixture starts to boil. You'll see that it starts to foam up and then that's when you know it's starting to boil. Once it starts foaming, take the pot off the stove and leave it aside. Strain the mixture so we can get rid of any lumps and then you want to keep the vanilla bean. Next, we're going to cut the vanilla bean in half and then you're going to take out all the seeds from the bean. Take the back of your knife and scrape the bean. Make sure you get every seed because every seed does count. Place the seeds into the mixture and stir very thoroughly. Up next, we're going to start whisking the egg and then you're going to add half a cup of granulated sugar. Make sure you cream the eggs and the sugar very thoroughly and then you're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and this is going to enhance the vanilla flavor. Then you're going to add the cream mixture into the eggs. Make sure you add it very slowly because the cream is still very hot and you don't want to cook your eggs. So this is called tempering your egg mixture. Make sure you get every little drop. All right, and there you go. That's the mixture. So place the mixture into a container, which is easily pourable, and then you're going to place it into these ramekins. These ramekins are about nine and a half centimeters in diameter. So now I'm going to place boiling water into the pan and you want to place the boiling water about halfway up the ramekin. Place it into a 325 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 18 minutes. After you've taken it out of the oven, you want to refrigerate the creme brulee for at least 4 hours or preferably overnight. So here comes the fun part. You want to sprinkle about a teaspoon to two teaspoons of sugar on top of the creme brulee. And then you want to take a torch. You can definitely buy these torches at different kitchen stores or you can use your broiler. So make sure you get a good even crust on top of your creme brulee. It should be about golden brown. So there we go. Now you have this beautiful crispy creme brulee and then underneath creamy custard base. And don't hesitate to have more than one. Enjoy! <laughs>